what is the purpose of SQL DDL and DML statement? Structured query language compromises two main categories of statement DDL data definition language and DML data manipulation language. These two categories serve different purposes in managing and working with relational data. Data definition language the purpose of data de definition language statement is to define, modify, and manage the structure of a database, including table, schema, constraints, indexes, and other database objects. The key DDL statements are create. DDL statement like create table, create index, create schema are used to define new database objects. For example, create table defines a new table with eight column, data types, and constraint. Alter DDL statement like alter table are used to modify the structure of existing database object. You can use alter table to add, modify, or drop column, change data type, and apply constraints. Drop DDL statement like drop table, drop index, and drop schema are used to delete or remove database object. For example, drop table deletes an entire table and its data. Truncate. The truncate table statement is used to quickly remove all the data from a table, effectively resetting it, but the table structure remains intact. Create alter drop schema. The statements are used to define, modify, or delete database schema with the help organize, which help organize database object in logical groups. Create alter drop constraints. The statement define, modify, or delete constraint such as primary key, foreign key, and check constraint which enforce data integrity rule. Data manipulation languages. DML statements are used to manipulate the data stored in a database. They are responsible for querying, inserting, updating, and deleting data. Key DML statements and their purpose include select. The select statement is used to retrieve data from one or more table. It allows you to specify column to retrieve filter data and perform various data re retrieval operations like sorting and grouping. Insert. The insert statement is used to add new row of data to a table to provide the value for each column in the row, either explicitly or through a subquery. Update. The update statement is used to modify existing data in the table. You specify the column to update and the new value for those columns along with the condition that determines which row to update. Delete. The delete statement is used to remove one or more rows from a table. You specify a condition to determine which row to delete. Merge. The merge statement combines insert update and delete operation into a single statement, making it useful for performing upsert, update and insert operation. The DML statement enables you to interact and manipulate the data stored in the database. The DDL statement, on the other hand, provides the means to define and manage the database structure, including table, constraint, and indexes. Together, DDL and D DML statement allow you to create, modify, query, and maintain the data within the relational database.